I had like our LGBTQ plus health center come in. They were passing around butt plugs and dildos to my students, talking about queer sex, using lube versus using spit. Me. All right, Uncle June, need your take on another video. But before that, as always, welcome back to the folks tuning in and welcome to the first timers. No doubt, nephew. Welcome to another Uncle Junior episode. Be sure to drop a comment, hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. Now, what video are we taking on today, nephew? The Queer Dean of Students, Uncle June. The elite Chicago private school dean of students brags about teaching queer sex to minors. Oh, boy. Here we go with another one, huh, nephew? That's right, Uncle June. We have another degenerate with the title of Dean of Students, promoting the queer lifestyle to minors. Uh, just when you think you've seen it all, nephew, up jumps the boogie and another degenerate is exposed in the classroom. And this time, it's the dean of all people, the dean of students, whose role is to ensure the overall welfare of students. The irony of it all. Now, somebody let in a degenerate to oversee the welfare of students. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our decline in real time. The hen house has been deliberately left open for the wolf to have his way with the hens. Unbelievable. Well, let's check it out. I had like our LGBTQ plus health center come in. They were passing around butt plugs and dildos to my students, talking about queer sex, using blue versus using spit. Meet Joe Bruno, Dean of Students at the prestigious Francis W. Parker Private School in Chicago, which happens to charge $40,000 per student. Oh, they're just like passing around dildos butt plugs, the kids are just playing with them. They're like, how do you, how does this butt plug work? How do we do, like, how does this work? That's a really, like, a cool part of my job. Parents might be stunned to learn that Bruno's version of love and acceptance means handing out sex toys to underage students. So I've been the dean for four years. During Pride, we do a Pride week every year, and I had, um, I had like our LGBTQ plus health center come in. They were passing around butt plugs and dildos to my students, talking about queer sex, using blue versus using spit. Who is this? This is uh, an LGBTQ plus health center came in to talk to my high school students. Nice. They're just like passing around dildos, butt plugs. The kids are just playing with them. They're looking at them. In the school? In, in a classroom. Wow. Yeah. While well, I'm sitting there. And we had a drag queen come in, uh, pass out cookies and brownies and do photos. It's so amazing. And everybody's cool with that, like the butt plugs and the dildos. No big complaints. No. I mean, if the parents found out, would they? No. It's queer sex. This is the drag queen that came in. What's her name? Uh, Alexis Bevels. Alexis Bevels. I just hung out in my classroom. And was there? Or hung out in my office. You have so much freedom and so much Wiggle room. So much freedom, so much money. I mean, I mean to do stuff. Trustees are okay with that too? Oh. They don't know. They would, it's like, we. I wouldn't even like run it by them. Like, why would I run it by them? They'd be like, oh my God, that's wonderful. Like yeah. How old were the kids at, with the classroom? 14, 18. They're like, how do you, how does this book work? How do right. we do, like, how does this work? Right. Um, so yeah, that's a really like a cool part of my job is I don't have to worry about stuff like that. Yeah, like I said, the hen house has been deliberately left open. The dean himself pretty much affirmed that fact. Let's listen one more time. You have so much freedom, and so much wiggle room, so much freedom, so much money. I mean, I mean to do stuff. Trustees are okay with that too. Oh. They don't know. They would. It's like we. I wouldn't even like run it by them. Like, why would I run it by them? They'd be like, "Oh my God, that's wonderful." That's wonderful, is what the school trustees would say, according to the queer influencing dean. Oh yeah, the trustees know exactly who they have as their dean. Queer birds of a feather and their queer allies truly flock together. And the vileness of it all. It's almost like it's mandatory for these people to openly discuss their sexual fetishes. They just can't keep it to themselves, can they? Now he talks about using lube instead of spit during queer sex. Wow, these are some vile people, aren't they? And they do this all out in the open with the blessings of the school. 
And this is a school sanctioned event for Pride Month, of course. Now, we're at a low point in our society where schools are openly promoting queer sex and bringing in queer sex experts to educate on how to use the tools of the trade. <laughs> you know, folks, once upon a time, parents were able to send their kids to school and expect them to come home with the same mindset that they left with. But these days, that is under threat. The industry has been infiltrated by sexual perverts who can't leave their sexual fetishes at home. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that one day a young child comes home with the proclamation of I am here and I am queer. And that proclamation could very well come with a box full of sex toys, butt plugs and dildos, compliments of the Dean of Students. <laughs> my, 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 it is a mad, 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 mad world. But we're supposed to call it normal and inclusive. And you better not forget those pronouns. And they even bring in a drag queen, of course, because you cannot have a queer school function without a drag queen. These queens of drag are everywhere these days. They're in schools, they're in libraries, and they're even in church. Her name is Britta Filter, and she is the queen of New York! Yeah! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, even the churches have fallen victim to the queer takeover. But I digress. Back to the queer dean of students. Yeah, Uncle June, he was confronted by Project Veritas, and this is what happened. Joe Bruno. Yes. Hi there. Um, James O'Keefe with Project Veritas. To the no, no, no. You're on camera here talking about giving anal sex toys and butt plugs to little children. <laughs> They're just like passing on dildos, butt plugs. The kids are just playing with them. Sir, why are you running? Why are you running away? Sir, anal butt plugs and toys? Well, old kinky Joe Bruno got the hell up out of there, didn't he? All of a sudden, he's shy and don't want to talk and share the kinky lifestyle with the rest of the world. Well, I guess that's reserved for his young students and his confidants. Ladies and gentlemen, guard your children. The world is a dangerous place and there are no safe spaces. Schools, libraries, and churches are now queer spaces for the kinky Joes of the world. Beware.